Hello there, Pisces. It is time for your new moon tarot reading. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Melissa, and I do the zodiac readings on the new moon and the full moon. Um, that's just how I like to do it. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm a Cancer and I'm drawn to the moon. And I don't know. Anyways, welcome. Um, I also do witchy unboxing videos and um, like other kinds of tarot readings, like current events and stuff like that. And sometimes I haven't done it in a while. Sometimes I talk to dead people. So let's uh, let's get into your reading. We're looking at the new moon uh, beginning of the cycle. This is where we're setting intentions, making plans and goals. And um, yeah, let's see what we've got going on. So what we're going to look at is current energy, what things got going on around you right now. And then we're going to get some suggestions for potential um, favorable uh, intentions for you to set for this new moon. All right, what has Pisces got going on right now? Okay. We have the lovers, the keeper of coins, and the ace of swords. Keeper of coins is going to be the queen of coins, pentacles. Here's our lovers card. So many of these readings, the very first card was a, I think maybe nine, eight or nine out of 12 started with major arcana cards. So there's everybody's going through some stuff right now. Okay. Um, and this is our keeper of coins, which would be our queen of pentacles. Um, I love the, all the queens in this deck have like a crown for the key. You see that? I love that. Um, <clears throat> but also the rings, if you, it's a very subtle symbol, but very heavy symbolically, at least for me, the rings in that, um, to me look like the rings of a, um, like a tree when you like a tree stump or a tree trunk. Um, showing the age. So we have that maturity going on here, lots of rings, but that's what that looks like in the background to me. I don't know if that's on purpose or not, um, but that's what I get. I get this very mature and um, practical approach to things um, from like that helps like solidify that meaning for me. And then we also have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, that air energy, Ace of Swords. So I, I feel like Okay, <laughs> there's something I want to say, but like, uh, I, I feel like that might just be personal experience coming in a little too strong, but, um, I, I, do I dare, do I, do I dare, are we, I'm almost getting a switching teams kind of situation that, that may not apply or, um, becoming a little more open in that way. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then I'm not talking to you. Okay. So, um, the lovers is not always necessarily romantic, but it is a pivotal part. It's a, the major arcana talks about like the major themes in our lives. Um, and the lovers is more about like decisions or, um, like making a decision to maybe even commit to something, especially with this, um, this queen energy. This is like making practical decisions with this ace of swords being like an idea right? Or maybe new information that came in. So the swords are about, you know, communication. They're about um, your thoughts. They're about, um, dude, I'm blanking out. What the hell? <laughs> they're, they're about all of that, that air energy stuff, right? Um, your thoughts, things having to do with your mind, communication, um, and knowledge and learning. That's what, that's what I was searching for knowledge and learning. So the ACE usually for me, um, will point out that there is an idea or new information that came in, whether it's an idea or, um, just, um, you've been informed of something. Um, so however that applies in your life. Um, but I feel like there, there, there's like a new direction, like a decision that's being made to go into a new direction with some kind of um, mature, almost feminine, um, kind of nurturing the keeper. Um, I like the use of the keeper in this deck for the queen because it's, it's kind of like, um, uh, a, a queen who is pregnant. We'll talk about that a little bit. They're the keeper. They, they're the holder, right? They're, they're the vessel, um, for, uh, like the portal of um, earth, basically. So um, the keeper, I feel like that's, uh, that's like, 
it just reminds me of like the womb being a protector um, in the nurturing protective kind of way where the king um, would be more of a, um, he's the crown in this deck. Um, he's more the authority of, of things where the keeper is more the protector nurturer. Um, the king is more the protector of the outside. You know what I mean? Like the, the pre protector of, in a different way, not in a nurturing protector, but in a more of a, an aggressive protector. Um, where the keeper is inward protecting the 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 crown or the king would be the outward protector. I hope that makes sense. Anyways, so what I'm getting here is that there's like a new path or a new realization um, regarding like mature kind of feminine-ish energy, but like in that nurturing protective sense. So um, there may be something that has come in recently for you that is making you feel like you need to nurture and protect. And whether that's yourself or somebody else with this lover card, it could be. Um, but also about making a decision, I feel like there's like information, recent information that has um, kind of brought for, forth an urge, like a um, almost a maternal urge to um, protect and nurture something. Um, and, you know, uh, being coins, it could be related to um, career and money and finance, that kind of thing. Um but it could also be um, bringing someone in because those also indicate people in the tarot sometimes. Um, it could be a person that, um, you know, is coming in to help with that decision or the decision is about that person or um, there may be like a, a new way of thinking about that type of energy. And that's where I got the switching team stem from. Or um, addition to the team? Yeah, I don't know. All right, so let's look at some intentions. What intentions would be good for Pisces to set? Okay. Nine of Vessels been coming up a lot. The World card again, too. And then we have the Two of Swords right underneath that Ace of Swords. So I feel like there is like a progression here. So intentions around progress, first of all. Um, the Nine of Cups, Nine of Vessels is, um, satis this, this is like the most satisfaction. This is being fulfilled, right? Emotionally, because we're talking about, um, the water, the water sign, sign. Why do I always say that? The water suit. Um, so that's talking about emotions and what is flowing into you. This is like satisfied energy. It's also, you know, like keeping the flow going, right? Like you're flowing with something. Then we have the world card, which is the last of the majors. Um, so we have two major arcana cards in here, but this is like closing out a cycle, right? This is closing out a cycle. And again, the two of swords giving us more decision-making energy, right? So I feel like intentions that have to do with making a decision about a transformation that's going on here. Um, I feel like there is definitely like change energy, even though I don't really have any cards that specifically indicate change. I'm kind of like seeing the, the energy change. Um, so I, I feel like it's kind of clarity on what actually fulfills you closing out cycles of things that do not fulfill you and making decisions would be, um, good intentions to set for this new moon. Um, but over, overall, I feel like this is like, um, <clears throat> I'm getting like the, a change in the air. So I don't know if there's anything to do with your breathing potentially um, that could be looked at, but it's just like a change in the air, like the air around you is changing. I don't know um, how that would apply, but um, that's what I'm feeling here. It's like um, the, 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 it's a, the wind changing directions. Thank you. So perhaps if that is something that you happen to notice in the future, like the, the wind like suddenly shifts in another direction, like things are blown this way and then all of a sudden they're blown that way, that might be like, uh, like a, a bit of communication for you to be like, hey, you can change direction too. Um, so intentions around, you know, evaluating what is satisfying to you, um, how to fulfill yourself, um, making plans to do things that fulfill yourself. Um, closing out cycles of things that do not fulfill you and making decisions. I feel like there is a decision to be made here. And, um, I, I feel like, you know, 
which which way you want to go that will be the most fulfilling for you but i feel like it might be you might be hesitant about it a little bit so clarity as well um in that round in that round in that arena realm yeah that i think that's what i was going for realm um but yeah that's what i have for in time from setting for this new moon i hope that you enjoy this reading and will watch others i'll see you in a couple of weeks for the full moon where we are seeing what is being harvested um in your life so that uh, will wrap this up. Always remember that the magic you seek is within you. It's all in here. Have a blessed day.